Yo, what is up? And today we're going to react to Final Fantasy VII Machina Abridge, episode 6 through 8. So, we gotta catch up, because uh, <laughs> I'm only gonna react to three episodes from now on on, T uh, on this uh, Team 4 Star channel. Just because, you know, just to keep up consistencies. And I'm also, like, you know, kind of always running out of time when I do these types of videos. So, we're gonna get right into this. And uh, yeah, we're gonna watch episode 6 right now. Well. So... Uh, Wait, hold on, what the heck happened? Hi, Cloud, how'd it go? Well... So... Oh my god. Uh, any of you got some panties on you? You're in luck! Got what I needed. Ew. Hey, can we stop by a place real fast? One drugs, please. My man. <laughs> oh yeah, because the dude, like, the dude from the last episode was just, just, just kept asking about, like... He no, he he kept saying like he didn't have any like other stuff, but just drugs so for some reason. I don't know. Like, <laughs> I don't know, bro. This 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 is crazy. There we go. You need any help, Cloud? Nah, nah. <laughs> I'm good. Really? Because you've been in there for two hours. I just. I just really like the fabric. Of course! Giuseppe, you're only the finest of a chocobo silk. How do you even get that out of a chocobo? Oh my lordy. Chocobo. Oh my god. Cloud, I really want to see. Okay. I look so cute. You really do. I'm Giuseppe's pride and a joy. But uh, Papa, I thought I was your pride and joy. Well, maybe if you are marry one of those big girls and make them a grandchild, <laughs> then you earn a Giuseppe's Damn. respect. But uh, Papa, those girls are hookers. How do you think I found your mother? I'm a hooker, baby. You do not disrespect your mother like that. You're the one who's on the Yes, girl. <laughs> <laughs> Unintelligible languages. Hey, Toots, gonna audition? Yep, I brought that friend. Oh, your friend got a name? Oh! <clears throat> uh, my name is. Uh, this is so bad. Oh, sh uh, shit, my name, right. Uh, uh. Thunderhead? You are gonna blow expectations. Hello <laughs> there, sir. Oh, we're here for Dude, the what? audition? All right, I'll get you to sign this form and. Hey, it's the Kirito voice actor, I think, from um the other Bridge series. I forgot his name. I know he has a name, but I just don't know. I know he voiced Kirito, so that's nice to hear. And afterwards, you can head straight on down to the sex dungeon. What the fuck? <coughs> uh, beg pardon. She better be. Oh no. Oh, there she is. Oh, thank God she's all right. <laughs> <laughs> nice outfit. Did your grandmother lend it to you after her funeral? I found her. Hey! Hi! You must be tea. Oh, thank God. Uh, I'll take a double shot of whiskey on the rocks. Long day. Oh, I'm not a waitress. Me and Cloud are here to rescue you. Wait, Cloud? He's alive? Mm-hmm. We snuck in to rescue you. It all started when he fell from heaven. Wait, did he not realize- did he not realize that was Cloud? That's actually kind of funny. <laughs> this kind of proves that, like, Cloud has always had, like, a- like a woman facial features. Uh, honey, honey, I'm gonna need you to focus the fuck up and tell me where Cloud is. You're pleasant. He's here. You already met him. Oh God. What, what are you talking about? The only people here are you, me, and that spiky plum. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Laugh it up. That's that's actually pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie to you, cause he really does have a facial of a woman, dude. I just like, <laughs> I mean, he passes as as a good disguise, so I mean, it worked in his favor. Oh man! <laughs> Is she still going? Uh, so, um, <laughs> how did you do the boobs? Grapefruits and three bras. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, I'm done. Perfect. Oh my god. Now we can Oh my lord. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm just I'm really glad you're alive and all, but I just I just can't get over the boobs. Uh-huh. Guess I know what it's like to be one of your shirts. Oh, sick burn, Cloud. I have huge tits. 
Well, they're not that big. I'm glad you seem to find me doing whatever it takes to rescue you so funny. I didn't need a rescue. Oh really? my god. Because being trapped behind Don Corneo's Chocobo Bang Wagon showed otherwise. We were having a moment before he noticed you. Cloud, you idiot. I wasn't trapped. I'm here undercover. Apparently Don Corneo has info on Shinra and Avalanche. Oh. Well, what were you going to do? Beat it out of him? No, Cloud. I was going to f*** him. La 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 Muggles, 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 muggles! She's interesting. But seriously though, fear is a great motivator. Especially when his pants are down and I've got that fierce grip. Oh, please tell me you were going to take the gloves off. Oh, Cloud. You know me better than that. Oh. Get out of here before you mess this up for me. All right, ladies. The Don will see you now. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> well, well, well. Would you look at the spread I have today? Which flavor will I partake in? Oh, hey, oh, flavor. Strawberry. That's a yummy fruit. It is. But maybe I'm in the mood for grape. <laughs> but you know what they say about blueberries. They contain antioxidants, lower the risk of heart diseases, and... Boring! So yeah, you blow it. Lady. Literally blow What's it. What's your name? Uh, Thunderhead? I've made my decision! <laughs> you are kidding me. <laughs> you don't want me! I'm a virgin! That is not something you could tell. You know, in, in real times, okay, we're gonna talk about real life. A lot of old men, older guys, you know, they like that. That's exactly what they like. That is not a thing you would say. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not, that's not, dude, that's like, that's like finding buried booty treasure. All right, and I'm not talking about, <laughs> I am actually talking, well, technically I am talking about that booty treasure, but you, you know what I mean. Oh god, this is turning into another- You know what? I'm just gonna keep going. Prepare <laughs> my chamber! Oh, yeah! I can't believe that I was chosen! I'm so oh my god. lucky! Oh baby, there was no competition! You're just so reserved and shy. <laughs> yeah! Hey! Hey! Yo! Uh, you know what, uh, gets my vagina raring to go for that <coughs> piping hot D? Secrets! Pertaining to espionage? Oh, well, this'll moisten you up, sweetheart. Shinra Ew. is going to destroy Avalanche by dropping Sector 7's upper plate right on top of their secret base today! Whoa! Oh, that's, that's really, really bad. Right? I'm actually the one who found where Avalanche was hiding. So, Thundy, it's your turn for secrets. Oh! Do you really want to know? Ooh, I'm just itching. Really? <laughs> yes! Yes! <gasps> I have a dick. <gasps> Surprise! I'm a guy! Even better. Oh. Uh, hey, Don. Fun fact about that grape. It's high in vitamin D. I, I just told him I'm a guy. Oh, well, f*** me sideways. Guess I can't have anything today, huh? Well, how about I give you the info you dressed all slutty for? First of all, I was dressed hoary. Second of all, that would be great. So you're telling me those dickheads at Shinra plan on destroying my home slash job? You live there? The red is cheap, Cloud! Your name is Cloud? <laughs> That's, That's terrible so place to live. See, he agrees. Shut up! How exactly did you figure out where our base is? Oh, well, there was a pinball machine at a bar my agent went to. Say no more. Well done! It's oh, been wow. So oh, yeah. Wait, Thunderhead! I just need to know. What? Do you think... You could ever fall for me. Uh, no. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna go to my hot spring. Damn. <laughs> Ugh, that was actually a really good last line. <laughs> Would you ever fall for me? They just like all fall together. <laughs> yeah, they gotta get rid of that pinball machine because it seems like it's a lot of active people, especially some ops everywhere.
Well, this was a good episode, episode six, and now we're gonna head into episode seven and see what this is uh looking like. Will Cloud and the friends survive? They definitely will survive. I, I, we all, we all know that. But I'm just, you know, good question. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, uh, okay, ads. Sir, just a lot again, of ads. I must Skipping. You that dropping an entire section of the city on top of another section of the city to kill, from what I'm being told, five people, okay, is not only financially irresponsible, but RPR will take a noticeable hit. Well, you Ooh. see, Reeve, we live in a world of absolutes. Yes, we do. As in, this is an absolutely terrible plan. Okay, okay, I'll use a metaphor. It's like you're trying to make an omelet by dropping an entire section of the city on top of another section of the city. I'll be honest, <laughs> this sounds like something Heidegger yelled out in a meeting and no one challenged him on it. Oh, why would they challenge such a practical plan, Reeve? Because it's practically insane! President Shinra, not only are we killing hundreds, nay, thousands of innocent lives, we're also destroying some of our most profitable areas. The distillery district, the water park, that falafel stand that we all really love? As the head of urban developments, this is the most counterproductive situation imaginable! <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Reeve. We were just being men of action while you were making that bonsai tree in your office, your wife. I'll make you my wife, you son of a- Hi, Digger. Reeve does have a point. <sighs> Thank you, sir. Our PR will take a noticeable hit. And if our consumers take issue with our actions, they are more than welcome to sign up with one of the other energy companies. Oh, wait. We crushed them under our chocobo skin shoes. Oh, Much dude, the chocobos are always the victims in like in every situation. And it's like, I'm surprised they're not even in like an extinct species at this point. Like them, this avalanche group will feel the full force of Shinra. I am willing to utterly and completely destroy our enemies, no matter how many omelets need to be made. Do I make myself clear, Reeve? Yes. Sir. Besides, who could possibly stop us? Dude, honestly, I'm always impressed how they could like use the mouse in the abridged series, like to move them. Like it's like always impressive to see that type of stuff. What the f is that? Oh, my God. oh no, bro. <laughs> Clearly they had a hard time with that one. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, I burped, but you guys didn't hear that. <laughs> so, uh, oh my god. Can we talk about what just happened? I named it. Yeah, we told you not to do that while we were killing it, now didn't we? Its name was Sebastian. Oh my god, <laughs> who the hell cares? You think you could lighten up for a bit, Tifa? Oh, lighten up? Oh, I'm sorry if I'm a little bit tense right now. It's just that after hearing about how Shimmer is planning on dropping a section of the city on top of another section of the city, the one I live in, and then fighting a giant sewer monster named Sebastian, I have a bit of a short fuse! How short is it? <laughs> Why don't you two do me a solid? <laughs> stop flirting for a minute and come with me to stop Shinra from destroying our livelihoods! Your livelihood. Well, to be fair, you're the only one that works at the bar. No! <laughs> was that short? <laughs> All right, guys. We need to call Barrett and the rest of Avalanche to warn them about Shinra's plan. I think they already know. The Barrett Land Buffet is open for business! Oh my god. They're fighting Shinra, but they've got things under control. Oh shit! <laughs> Your friend's got one! So are you okay? Oh my no! god. <laughs> okay, I got a plan. What is it? Let's go kick some ass. Uh, Soldier style. Right! Eric, go to the bar around the corner. There's gonna be a little girl named Marlene <clears> there. Tell her big sis Tifa and the blonde jackass sent you there, then take her somewhere safe. Also, she has a gun. Oh! I'll take her to the safest place I know. Oh my, my lord. House. Yes, uh, perfect. Uh, Cloud, I need you to do something for me. No. What is it, man? 
are dying, Cloud. <coughs> I need you to tell Jessie that I've always thought her voice was hot. Wait, is that the one where it's like they're they're like they have like teeth problems or something like that? They're like I t t or something like that. I, I oh, they need a dentist. Really? Because you guys have always said. It sounds like she's blowing me, you know. Oh, dude, come on. Tell her! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You're not upset, are you? No. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny that he thinks his dick is that big. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 she's dead. <laughs> Great. Oh, my oh. God, dude. I'm gonna miss those guys. Are you really? You they never even liked you. About Shinra's plan. Well, how in the hell did they find out about us? Was it the pinball machine? It was the pinball machine. God damn it! By the way, I'm here too, because I survived that fall and- Perfect! Now make yourself useful and act like you're something worth shooting at! Good to know I'm surrounded by people who love me! Hey, bud! Guess who? Oh, no. Don't mind me! Just following orders. So you're gonna introduce us to your boyfriend, Cloud? Yeah, he wishes he was my boyfriend. <laughs> I'd pay good money to see you in a dress. Kill him before he talks more! <laughs> <laughs> oh, how the tides have changed, Reno. Now oh my you god. Get to my friend, and let me tell you, they always listen. We can't hear you. What? I can't hear you. We cannot! Hear you! I can't hear you! You are unaudible <laughs> at the moment! Oh god! Barrett, get him out of that! I'll take out Prince Dyes' hair. <laughs> Please, babe! Uh, the curtains uh, match the carpet. Oh, you dye your dick too. Uh, no. I actually shave the sugar Oh tips. my god. Ah, that makes one of us. Oh, what's the matter? Afraid of hurting your vagina? Nah. Oh, oh shit! Oh! Oh shit! Oh. <laughs> Son of a bitch! Hey, you ever refer to my primary birth giver like that? And that's my cue to leave. Ow! 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 Bad day to wear tight pants. Hey! Oh my god! Me, by the way. Oh no problem. And if you ever need a second dose, just keep being a smartass. Now I gotta get my baby girl out of here before it's too late. Don't worry, Cloud's friend took care of that. You mean this friend? Eric! Yo, that girl sells flowers. Greetings, Sells <laughs> flowers. I am Tseng, leader of the Turks. I have acquired your friend. This is not good. Eric! Where's Marlene? At my mom's house. Oh, thank God. Well, how did they capture you? They said they had a helicopter. She's been a person of interest to us for quite some time. We were merely observing her. However, oh no! Involving herself with known terrorists means she must now be brought in for experimentation. Orders from Doctor Hojo. No! Don't you dare lay a finger on her! Oh damn! I don't take orders from you. Oh, I'm gonna fucking slap your shit, you slick-haired Shinra cocksucker! Damn! Sean, now, if I'm not mistaken, you have a minute before you die. Have a nice day. Don't worry, guys. I can fix this. Oh, no, Cloud. We've been down that road before, and it is a dead end. So if you don't mind, I'm going to swing. Tifa, get up. Don't got to tell me twice. Hey, make room. My arm is not a seat, Cloud. Just go. Oh, my God. Is that another section of a city? Holy shit. Breakfast is served. <laughs> Damn. Just murdered all those people. How? How could it all go so wrong? Biggs. Wedge. Oh. Jesse. Oh, yeah, all the people died. All dead because of me. Why did it get so out of control? Probably when you started blowing up their facilities. Yeah. 
I probably did it. Is there anything good left in this world? Barrett, when I went undercover to get info out of Don Corneo, Cloud showed up dressed as a woman. Oh my god. He thought I'd been kidnapped. Then we had to line up to be selected for the lover position. <laughs> the Don chose Cloud. <laughs> Cloud's fake name was Thunderhead. <laughs> You're the salt of the earth, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dude the, I swear to God, bro. Barry just being an asshole just always makes me just <laughs> the cloud. It's just like it's just such a different vibe than when I'm playing the freaking game. This dude, what the hell, bro? Oh my. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Oh my god. I So I I wonder where they took Aerith cuz I I kind of forgot how this game went down. Oh my god, cuz like I've it's been like years since I played Final Fantasy 7. So I really don't even Yeah, I can't even remember half of it. I haven't even played the new one yet cuz I know there's a new one that came that came out the remastered version, which looks really good by the way. I got to get into that though. God, I really gotta get into that. So, yeah, I am really coming into this with a fresh brain of mind on everything. <laughs> uh, let's get into episode eight. So you're telling me that my baby girl Marlene is in this quaint little cottage? And that this cottage exists in the ghetto? Uh, yes, yes, this is Aerith's house. Uh, but as I was saying... We have a fucking waterfall! We need to go in there, sit Aerith's mom down, and tell her the bad news. There's blonde friend. I have bad news. My daughter's been kidnapped. Oh, no way! Oh my god. How did that happen? Well, they offered her a free helicopter ride, and how can anyone say no to that? Believe it or not, very easily. Oh, you must be the father of Marlene, that beautiful angel Aerith brought over. Oh! Oh, I thank you for assuming that automatically. That is a refreshing change of pace. Well, I can sense these things. Oh yeah, because he's black. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Also, she has a gun and your hand is a gun, so two and two together. Fair assessment. So where's my baby girl at? Oh, she's upstairs in Aerith's room playing bar with the cats. And I must say, it's so nice to meet another oh, no. person who adopted a child. Uh, hold on, what? Oh yes, Aerith is actually the last of an ancient race called Cetra, who are destined to lead a chosen few to the promised land. But anyways, why do you think Shinra... <laughs> I like that wasn't important. So are you going to be renting her room at all? <laughs> this is ridiculous, man. This dialogue's all over the place. Well, why do you think they kidnapped her? Oh, uh, you literally just explained it. Uh, okay. <laughs> like, what? Uh, I literally just answered your own question. God damn it. This, this is just funny. I, I love this show. That's what makes it so damn funny. <laughs> you see, I found Aerith 15 years ago. Whoa, whoa, hold up. Found? Oh, yes. You see, one day, I went to the train station to sell my herbal inhalants. They curb anxiety. And then... Uh, I can't believe my mom is dead! Oh, man. I'll be your mom. Okay! Wait, 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 wait. I can't help but think you may have skimmed some parts. Oh, yes. Aerith's birth mother did say something, actually. Please take care of my daughter, because you are awesome. What? And <laughs> the dankest of Halens. Think harder. This sounds like something that like you would hear at Adventure Time. Like Finn would be like, "Oh, we need that water because it's like really freaking cool." <laughs> <laughs> something like that like adventure time had all those like jokes like most of the time it wouldn't even like jokes they were like they were actually serious most of the time but it just sounded like really funny but it was just like oh because it's awesome and that was it that was basically it it's just it was nothing else but just awesome shinra is after my daughter and i we are the last of the cetras destined to bring a chosen few to the promised land 
But you see, I'm dying. To try that sweet kush! Oh my god. What? You know that's not how adoption works, right? I'm sorry. My mind is a bit foggy from the herbal inhalants I just inhaled. I haven't had anxiety for over 20 years. You do seem relaxed considering your daughter's been kidnapped. <gasps> my daughter's been kidnapped? Marlene! Oh my god, now, dude. Marlene, sweetie. Daddy needs to go and avenge his fallen cop. You're literally gonna let her stay there when she just forgot about that. Like, freaking Aerith? Are you kidding me? Really? Oh my lord. While rescuing the nice lady who rescued you. Oh my lord. Stay here and be nice to Mrs. Air's fake mom. However, this is Air's fake mom. Anything. Remember to take a 15% kickback. What am I? A charity? 25% exactly, baby girl. You passed the test. I love you. Hey, smart. Everything ready to go, man? Cloud. On one hand, I'm sad to leave my baby girl here for an unforeseeable amount of time. But on the other hand, you have a gun. On the other hand, this seems like a very safe environment for a child. Hey, guys, I was just eating this plate of cookies and all of a sudden... Oh, my God. Oh, no, the unicorn turned into space! Uh, should we... Bigger the bounce, bigger the ass. Oh, 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 oh thank God that's over. <laughs> oh, feeling better, your majesty. Now that I'm on solid ground... Yes. Quick question, guys. After you come down from being ridiculously high, does your mouth normally taste like paint? Guys, no. it's made of dicks! Oh, oh yeah, I yeah, get Uh-huh, we... that's, that's right, yeah. Oh, really? Sweet. So, what's the plan? Because I was all... Well, we're down to two options. I want to storm through the front door, guns a blazing. Killer. And I, as a former soldier... We, we know. Know of a back entrance. All we have to do is climb a few flights of stairs, and we're in. Hmm. I might still be a little high, but I like Cloud's plan. Oh. I see how it is. Okay, lead the way. All right, follow me. This isn't so bad, guys. <laughs> Takes me back to when I was in Soldier. <laughs> oh, yeah, this is... Oh, my God. Oh, this, is a, this is a killer workout, guys. This is, oh, I am feeling it. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my god. Watch him do all this just to get captured. Alright, let's get this started. Oh, hello there. Are you here for the Shinra bi monthly meeting? I take it you're with the urban development team? Uh. Yeah? Perfect. The meeting is on the 66th floor, and here are your elevator passes. Wow, thank you very much. <laughs> I cannot believe we just got away with that. Seriously, they thought you were with urban development. Uh, yeah, it seems too easy. I have no idea why they would think I was in urban develop. Oh, that racist cut! <laughs> Damn. What are they laughing at? And so, to Reeve, I retorted, but has the stock fallen as fast as the Sector 7 plate did upon our enemies? <laughs> oh, you motherfuckers. You know, it's not funny to laugh at the loss of life like that. Oh, Reeve, you just had to be there for it. I was! I was looking out my office <laughs> as we killed thousands of innocent people. Yeah, they did, like commit like massive genocide for no reason <laughs> like for like seven people or yeah like a few for a few individuals that are like in a small group which is insane actually jesus christ i cried <laughs> they're terrible i'm gonna kill him let's do it guys can you keep your murder boners in your pants please you can't tell my murder boner what to do cloud we are a wreck with rage we still need to find out where Aerith is okay so then on to the meeting at hand. All of you, collectively, in this first quarter of the year, have gone 700% over budget. Now, I would like to go over some things our money has been spent on, starting with Heidegger, our security exec. Dozens of assault charges levied against you. We've had to pay off judges, police, the assaultees. And the witnesses! Don't forget those witnesses! Oh, how could I? Because when they don't accept our bribes, 
you assault them, thus continuing what I like to call <laughs> the assault spiral. <laughs> oh, I am so naming an attack after that. You would. Now on to Scarlet, our weapons development executive. Baroness of weapons development. My apologies, the Baroness of weapons development. You built a giant cannon. Why, yes, I did. I heard it's very, very powerful, top-of-the-line technology. I will only accept the best. Yes, but the big problem is, it is pointing in one direction. And it does not turn, thus making it useless. Funny, I could say the same about you several weeks ago. That's right. I had sex with Reeve. Did he cry during that time? No, they're terrible. No, that's awful, dude. No way. <laughs> this isn't even a meeting anymore. This is just a roast session with Reeve. I feel bad for Reeve, man. Uh, I pray for Reeve. Oh my god. I can't believe she would use him like that and then belittle him for it. A bitch. Tifa. Oh, did, like you're one to talk. Ugh. Really? <laughs> you seem to be laughing a lot, Palmer. As the, quote, Executive Chief Director of Space Acquisition and all the cool space stuff, end quote, could you explain to me how you spent 10 billion gil to buy, and I quote again, 10 spaces? Oh, well, that's easy. Damn. First, you take both your hands and you make a telescope out of them. And then, what you see in the night sky there, that's one space! And then, you take one billion gil, which is how much one space costs, by the way, and then, you toss it into a fire! And the smoke delivers the payment to space! And that's how you buy space! I don't even know what- Reeve, I would like the space program budget to go through you from now on. There we go. Ah! I want to go to space! I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want! Fine, Cousin Palmer. You will go to space eventually. Ah, yay, space! I just, ever since I was a child, I wanted to go to space. These are the people who have been beating us. To be fair, we did have that pinball machine. But they did have that dumb secretary. How about I shoot her so it's even? <sighs> I would have preferred to end this meeting by finally going over the science division spending issues, but once again, the exec isn't here. So, with that said... If you're taking umbrage with how I'm running my division... <laughs> you can say it to my face, Reeve. Oh, Joe, it's so refreshing to see you out of your lab for once. Well, I've been preparing our latest subject for experimentation. Oh no. Huh? 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 <laughs> She's quite innocent and naive. Aerith, no. When I no. told her we would be experimenting on her, she responded, but I thought that only happened in those colleges. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely Aerith. Oh my Aerith. god. Oh, yeah. The reason I'm here is not to sate your curiosity, Reeve. Rather, to inform President Shinra that everything is going according to plan. I am most pleased, Hojo. How long until the information about the Promised Land is extracted from the subject? Oh my god, Aerith's fake hot mom was right! Well, that all depends on how long I have to stand here and defend my methods to a group of Neanderthals, sir. Very well. Much like a present given to my special boy, this meeting is wrapped. So when they say extracted from the subject... We have to follow, Hojo. We're heading, but we gotta be real sneaky-like. By the way, Hojo... Are you certain that this Cetro will not escape like the last one? <laughs> not to worry, sir. The 60th floor's back door has been sealed for years. <laughs> oh my god, dude. No, Barrett's F draw, bro. <laughs> like. Oh, man. 
<laughs> so okay so they're obviously gonna get air up i want to see how they do like with the jokes and the puns and stuff in the next episode i'm gonna see y'all later click the like button hit the bell notification and subscribe